Hi, I am Mary Poplin with Boris FX, and in this video, I will show you how to replace out of focus backgrounds with Mocha's unlinked tracking workflow. This example is shown running the Mocha Pro plugin inside Adobe After Effects, but the same technique can be used with Mocha Pro inside Premiere Pro or other hosts. Sky replacements are a common visual effects challenge, especially when the sky in the original footage is out of focus or motion blurred. These invisible effects shots are actually quite common in film and television, especially when we see large sunsets or dramatic skies. To replace a background or sky, we need to use motion tracking to match the camera motion. This is commonly referred to as match moving. Out of focus backgrounds or shots with motion blur can make tracking difficult for the native Adobe Point Tracker or Camera Tracker, but it's quite easy with a few important Mocha planar tracking tips. So to get started, I will apply the Mocha Pro plugin effect to the layer I want to track. Then I can click the Track in Mocha button in the plugin interface in the Effects panel. This opens the Mocha interface, and for this tutorial, I will be using the classic workspace shown here. To master Mocha, it is important to understand that we are tracking planar surfaces and not specific pixels. For match moving, we typically draw a shape around an object and track forwards. For example, I might track this area where the sky meets the mountain. But when you are tracking the sky in a moving shot, it is very common that our track can simply move off screen or get lost due to motion. So let's focus on one of Mocha's most powerful features unlinked tracking. On a shot like this, where no noticeable tracking areas stay in frame, we will use the unlink workflow to create a tracking offset relationship between the search area and the data that we are capturing. I will draw a search area here on the mountain, making sure to avoid my talent, and then turn my surface tool on, which is an accurate representation of our track. Now I align the surface to the front face of the mountain I can use the surface center point as transform data, the corners as corner pins, and I can use the grid tool to view the track in more detail. I could move the shape around the mountain however I like, but that wouldn't affect the surface tool at all because the surface tool always follows my track, not the shape. I am only going to use translation scale and rotation because that's all the tracking information I need for this simple camera movement and because of the lack of parallax in the camera. If the object was close enough to be moving in perspective, I would need to track perspective as well. But since I am not using a corner pin and am only using transform data for my match move, this isn't necessary. Because the shape defines the texture I am tracking and the surface represents the track, I can unlink the track from the shape by going to the drop down menu in layer properties called Link to Track and selecting None. Now, when I track forwards, my shape stays in one place, but my track creates keyframes as the texture data from the background moves beneath my shape. Sometimes the fact that the shape can be keyframed confuses users, but the shape will not affect the track other than changing where the tracker is looking. To get a rock solid track, make sure you track one plane at a time, track only what you need, and make sure to avoid occlusions, reflections, and shadows. The surface tool will tell you whether or not this is an accurate track because it will stick to the texture you are tracking when you play through the shot. Now that my track is complete, I can save and close Mocha. It's time to apply my track in a new sky layer in my comp which is a larger than HD file because I don't want upres issues visible in my final composite. I can use a layer in my comp, or I can import an image into Mocha directly using the insert clip import, but the most non-destructive way to work and the most collaborative workflow is to use a layer in my comp. First, I will duplicate the shot and I can use a Luma key like Continuum's Chroma Key Studio to replace the foreground on top but have the new sky visible below. I will position and scale the sky layer exactly where I want it underneath this keyed layer. Now I can use the tracking exports in the Mocha Pro plugin interface to apply the data to my layer. 
To choose a layer to create tracking data from, click the Create Track Data button in the Tracking Data section of the plugin. Then I click the layer I want to read Tracking Data from in the dialog that appears. I can only choose one layer at a time. Once I click OK, the plugin will generate keyframes to populate the tracking parameters in the plugin. I can then use this data to copy to other layers or link via expressions without needing to export from the Mocha GUI. I can use any of these keyframes once they're created, so I can copy and paste the data or I can use expressions to apply them to other layers in my composition. In this instance, I'd like to apply the transform data to my sky. The best way to do this is with a null. So to apply tracking data to a null, I use the drop-down menu to select an export option at the bottom of the tracking data section. Because this is a null, I will use the transform option to apply scale, position, and rotation only. Clicking Apply Export then applies the data to the specified layer in the drop-down menu. And now I can pick whip my sky to the null and it will move perfectly in my scene. And to finish the shot, I should add motion blur, grain, and color correction to match the original plate in my composite. This makes a world of difference for selling the effect. Note that you can use a corner pin to place the sky, but for oversized images like matte paintings, it becomes a bit more of a process. You can use the technique in our Mega Plate Matte Painting Tutorial for more complex oversized compositing workflow. You can also find tutorials on using the insert module for sky replacements there as well, all on our website. Now I can render right back to my timeline and I am free to move on to the next clip in my queue. Unlink and offset tracking is one of the most powerful concepts users can turn to for tracking long pans or erratic camera motion because it captures all of the background information that you need for sky replacements even on untrackable skies with zero texture detail. When in doubt, if you don't have background objects to track, you can always track the horizon. And when clouds are present, Mocha's planar tracker is sensitive enough to grab that texture and lock onto it. Saving time is the main goal of planar tracking. You're telling the story and you don't have time to fiddle with hand animation. Rock solid match moving is invaluable for making believable effects so you can get that in-camera look on every shot, regardless of how the weather was cooperating that day or not. To learn more about Mocha Planar Tracking and Mocha Pro, please visit us at www.boriseffects.com where you can find free training videos, official documentation, Boris Effects news, artist interviews, case studies, and so much more.